right, well, we are definitely taking cake to the next level. We are talking about tilted cakes this morning with our friend Kay Hartman. Topsy turvy cakes. So we're not talking about the average layer them up. We are getting ready for Halloween, for fall, when you want to have those parties. All right, what's your secrets? Well, this recipe that um, I'm going to show you today, this is like the next best thing to like box cake because you just basically mix all the ingredients okay. in the bowl. I'm going to help you do this and we can talk about what we're putting in there. What is that? This is milk. I okay. have there the eggs. I have eight eggs, um, half a teaspoon of Oh, here. Two teaspoons of vanilla. I didn't promise I was a baker. I'm <laughs> <all right. laughs> okay, let me see my cheat sheet here. So I have there eight ounces of, ten ounces of sugar. Okay. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt right there. Okay. And, salt, right. and coconut, coconut oil. Coconut instead oil. Instead of butter. All right, yes. so the whole thing about Topsy Turvy cakes is you have these special pans. Right. And can you kind of lift that up and show us the yeah. difference between what a regular pan would look like in this one? Now, did you make that yourself? And yes, come up I, with the idea? yeah, I actually came up with the idea because the first time that I did the Topsy Turvy cake took me about two and a half hours to just cut the, the top Whoa, off. Okay. So I thought about, you know, you know how the invention is, is um, the mother of all this mm -hmm. necessity, and I thought that, you know, I can make a pan that's already tilted at the bottom okay. so that when you bake in it, like this one, this is already done. All right, so we go. Step one, this let me tell you, I'm yeah. not a baker, folks. I'm <laughs> trying to put my uh, my muscles into it here. We're working on that it, all right? So then it goes into here. And it goes into here. Next. You cut the top off so it's like nice and straight. Okay. And then you take it and flip it upside down. Aha! Uh -huh. And so wow. you see how it's already... Okay, perfect. perfect. So yeah. you've got your extra little coconut extract to make your cake taste extra special. Mm -hmm. And then you can get these in a couple of different sizes, which is really, really yes. neat. All right, so let's get over to this. So you've got a couple of cakes here. These are beautiful. They look so pretty. I don't know if you'd want to eat them, right? Yeah, thank um, you. Then. But let's come up with some ideas. So can you show us both sides of this one first, yeah, and then you can make some little uh, creations for us? Yeah, this is for Halloween, because you know how Halloween is coming up. So I have some pumpkins and ghosts and uh, black cats right there. And the other side is for fall oh, so that beautiful. they can have that for um, their uh, Thanksgiving dinner. All right, could you show us how you do this with the fondant so maybe people at home could learn a little bit for us this morning? Sure, absolutely. So I have here some orange fondant and I just roll it into a ball Okay. and I take my palette knife and I just score some lines on the side. All right. And then I put like a black fondant right on top. Oh, and it's a little pumpkin guy. And it's a little pumpkin guy. And then you <laughs> let it dry. You wet this with a little bit of water. You let it okay. dry. And then when it's dry, you can actually take... This is an edible marker. Edible marker? Yeah, you okay. want to draw the eyes. You can draw the yeah, eyes sure. and the uh, And then the I like mouth. the little ghost there. It seems yeah. pretty simple. It is pretty simple. All right. I, I mean, even the kids can... do this, but we'll check it out. Even kids can help you do it. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> hey, we never said I was good in the kitchen, but well, that's edible okay. markers. Hey, that looks good. I like it. So, can people buy all of this on their own, or is this all um, in your shop? Yes, it's it's uh, the name of my company is Petal Crafts, and they can buy that um, online uh, and also on Amazon. And I think all of the information are going to be in your website uh -huh. as well. Yes. And as you can see, actually, it's. If I put it right here, it's stable on your... Oh, I see that because yeah. it's got the angle. But So people right. can bake this at home. What are we making right here? We okay, we're going to do... We're going to do a ghost. Oh, so right. I have here a modeling okay. chocolate, which is basically a Tootsie Roll. So if they can't find a, a modeling chocolate anywhere, they can just go get the Tootsie Roll from the store, put it in the microwave for like three, five seconds, okay. and then they can mold it to whatever they want. So okay. I just made like simple shapes that are stable on the on the bottom and then you want to cut this for me this is a huge perfect all right we're going to do this real fast before we go okay. and get a little uh um i'm guessing this is going to be a cute little ghost so yes, this one may be a little more successful than the uh there than the go. pumpkin yeah. so let's get the ghost going there i think it's i think it's good i think we've got the ghost under control and then you let it dry and then perfect. you draw the eyes eyes again all right so we know we can do this Everything for Topsy Turvy Cakes, all the information is up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. You just have to click on that scene on tab. These are beautiful cakes. Thank you so much, Kay, for being with us this morning. Thank you. Erica, I am going to dive into one of these cakes because what's better than cake for breakfast? Isn't that right? <laughs> Do it, girl. It's 9.09. You've earned it.